This is a small portable power bank. It has a lightning and USB-C cable built into it, and it has an integrated Apple Watch magnetic charger as well. On the back here, it says that the Type-C input-output cable can do 5 volts at 3 amps for input and 5 volts at 4 amps for output. The uh, Type-C cable output, it says, is 5 volts at 2 amps. The lightning cable output is 5 volts at 2.1 amps, and the wireless charger is 3 watts. It also says it is a 6 amp hour battery bank, 22.2 watt hours. The model is HX50H4. I received this to review for free. Um, if you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you $27. I have not been paid for my review, and my opinions are my own. All right. So in the box, you have a USB-A to C cable. You have a small synthetic velour storage carrying bag. And you have the power bank itself. Now it has a power delivery USB-C port on the bottom. And it has two cables. One of them is USB-C and one of them is lightning. It also has this little round area which indicates the wireless charging. Um, it has a single button, so when you push that button, lights turn on. Now the box makes a distinction between the Type-C input-output and the Type-C cable output. So we're going to try the Type-C input-output first. And it says here 5 volts at 3 amps, which is, I believe, the input, and 5 volts at 4 amps, which is maybe the output. So it is delivering 5 volts. I'm going to turn on my load here. Um, so this load is at 3 amps currently, and at 2.73 amps, it's dropped the um, voltage sag here to 4.4 um, volts. So I don't think I want to draw any more than 3 amps out of this guy. Um, and so it's not even doing a full 3 amps. The load set to try to get 3 amps was really getting 2.73. And so the total power here is about 12 watts coming out of that guy. Um, I can turn up the load to go to a higher amperage and the power isn't really changing. It actually, I think, went down there a little bit. So I think you can just count on about 12 watts output. Um, this is a 3 amp load. I'm going to turn it down to a 2 amp load. So at a 2 amp load, it maintains 5 volts perfectly fine. So there's no sag with a 2 amp load. It's only when you start going up. So 2.5 amp load, 4.96, that's perfectly fine. But when you get up near 3, the voltage really starts to sag there. Um, you know, so I can't even hit really 3 amps, it's the voltage is down to 4 volts. Um, so pretty much out of that USB-C port on the bottom, you're going to get about 11 to 12 watts of power, and that's about the best you're going to be getting. Now we're going to try the USB-C cable here. So that guy's providing 5.1 volts with almost no load. When I turn on the load, I have this load set to about 3 amps. It's getting 2.7 amps. The voltage is sagged to 4.1 volts. It's 11.65 watts. I'm going to turn this down until the voltage gets up to at least 4.5, maybe 4.8. Well, there we go. So yeah, if you have 2.6 amp draw, it's 4.7 volts and that's a total of 12.77 watts. So it looks like if I turn this up, I can get maybe 13 watts out of this? Maybe not. 12 and a half. I can get 12 and a half watts out of that cable um, at 2 and a half amp load. So it says here the Lightning C cable output is 5 volts at 2 amps. It's easily able to provide that. It's providing 2.4 amps right now and it's 4.95 volts. So 12 to 13 watts out of this cable. 
Now the lightning cable is specified 5 volts at 2.1 amps. I don't know why they're doing 2.1 instead of 2, but we will check that guy. I expect it's probably plugging in to the same circuitry inside. Now with the lightning cable, I did have to push the power button to turn on the power. Um, it did not automatically detect and turn itself on. All right, so the lightning cable here at 2.4 amps is dropped down to 4.6 volts, so it's only 11 and a half amps. I'm gonna drop the load down to about 2.1. All right, so there's a 2.15 amp load. Its voltage is 4.75, and we're getting 10 amps. So it looks like your amperage is just a little bit lower on the lightning cable. Uh, maybe that's because I have an adapter going through it, although that pretty much should be a straight-through pass-through. Um, but the lightning cable is able to charge at 10 watts. All right, so of the specifications, the Type-C cable output, 5 volts, 2 amps, definitely. Lightning cable output, 5 volts, 2 amps, definitely. The Type-C output and input, um, they have, it looks like two numbers here, 3 amps and 4 amps. Um, I'm assuming the 3 amp is supposed to be the input and the 4 amp is supposed to be the output. Um, it is not reaching 4 amps at 5 volts. You get maybe 2.5. Um, so realistically, I think 5 volts at 2 amps is your rating for this device. When I run it down all the way, I'll charge it back up and see if we can get 3 amps being pulled in to charge it. Um, but first, we are going to discharge this guy all the way down, um, and then we will charge it back up to see how much power it takes to charge it back up to get a good estimate of how big the battery capacity is inside. So this guy shut itself off with a low voltage when I had a 2 amp load going. I've turned the load down to half an amp. Um, it's flashing on that last little dot, so it's pretty close to low. I'm just draining the last little bit out so that when we charge it up, we'll have a good accurate estimate for the total capacity of the battery. All right, at two hours, this guy was still charging. Most of the charging had happened. It was ramping down in the um, amperage, but now about three hours in, it's fully charged. All four lights are lit up to be charged. Um, and it has done exactly 22 watt hours in. So the battery in there is absolutely no bigger than 22 watt hours. Um, it's probably closer to 20 because you usually have a couple of watt hours lost in, you know, heat and efficiency changeovers from uh, the 5 volt charging to 3 volt and so forth.